Hi there! In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create explainer style animations just like the one you're seeing right now, all from within your web browser. And we're going to be doing this using a web-based tool called Render Forest. So let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is head down to the very first link in the description of this video to head out to their website and create a free account. It's free to get started using the tool, although they do have some premium features. And for that, you'd have to get a subscription. That link in the description also gives you a 20% discount if you choose to use any of the paid subscriptions that they have. You're welcome for that. So once you've created an account, since it's a web-based tool, you can use this on either Windows, Mac, or anything actually that runs a browser including your mobile device although they actually have a mobile app specifically for this i'm going to cover that in another tutorial so you want to make sure you subscribe to the channel to see that when it comes out so once you create an account you have access to five different design tools sort of your own diy digital agency so the first is a logo design tools which you can use to customize logos and create a logo for your business the next one is a tool that helps you create product mockups so things like t-shirts cups and things like that if you to do a mock-up for that they have a tool right here that can help you with that and then they have a graphic design tool that you can use to design social media flyers and different types of design and graphics and then they also have a web design tool which you can customize some template and create a website if you're interested in doing a website for your business and then finally, they have a video creation tool that can create different types of videos, including YouTube videos, intros, and things like that. But specifically, what we're interested in today is the animation videos that this tool has, more specifically, even the explainer videos. So let's get started with that. We're going to pretend that I have a travel company that helps you plan your fun summer vacation. So we're going to create a little promo that we're going to put on social media for my travel company. So to create your animation videos, the first thing you want to do is just head over to videos and click on the animation option. So as you can see here, they have different styles of animation, both 3D, uh, whiteboard animations and all of that. Since we're doing a travel animation, I'm going to go ahead and search for the travel option right here on the top. So I'm just gonna go to the search field and search for travel. Let's see what they have available. So you can see we have different options, but I'm interested in the 2D style explainer animations. So I'm gonna click on the Adventure Toolkit, which is in theme with our travel video. And once we're done, we just click on Create Now. So once that loads up, there are three ways you can create our videos using the tool. The first is taking advantage of some of the existing templates that they already have here in that Adventure team. So you can see here that they have different styles. They even have this carpooling community. So if I click on that and play it through, I can see uh, what the video looks like. And if this is in theme with what I was trying to design, I could edit the template and change up the scenes, change up the text and things like that. The second way to create your animations is by, if you already have a script of what you want your video to say, you can click up on the option here that says type your story and just type in the stories and it's going to use artificial intelligence to try to automatically detect what scenes you need to have in your video. But we're not going to use any of these two options. We're going to use the third option, which is to start from scratch because this gives you granular control as to how you want your video to be. So to do that, you want to click on this option here that says start from scratch. So once you do that, it gives you access to the entire library of contents that they have and we can search for specific scenes that we need to use. So I'm going to start by searching for a scene of an office. We want to show somebody stressed in an office. So I'm going to select this guy right here. He does look pretty stressed. So that looks good. Then I'm going to search for vacation. So let's see what they have in the theme of vacation. And if you see the little number right there on the top, it's just showing you how many videos you've selected that you have on your scene so far. And then probably we're also going to select this. We're going to use this to show our logo. So as you can see, it has a little premium icon on the top. So this means it's a premium scene. You would have to have a subscription to use this particular scene right here. So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to click on the insert option and that video gets loaded into our timeline. So the very first thing we're gonna do is just name our project. So if you go right here to the top left corner, you can change the name of your project to give it a name. So if you look right here to your right, this is where you have your preview of the current scene you're on and everything that's gonna be on that scene. To the bottom here, you have your timeline. So this shows you all the scenes you have in your video. And if you wanna move them around, you can just click and drag to move a scene to a different position, move it to the end, move it to the left. If you click up here, you can, you can replace it or you can duplicate it. And then if you click on the little plus green arrow right here, you can add another scene to this. Actually, let's go ahead and add one more vacation scene. So I'm just gonna click on that and search uh, for travel. And this looks about good. So let's add that to the scene. 
Alright, so far this is looking good. Now let's talk about changing some elements in the scene like the text and logos and things like that. So let's go to the first scene and change the text. So you can change that by simply just clicking on the text box right here and paste whatever text you want to put in here. And right here to the left you can change things like the font. So I'm going to choose this font right here. And then if you go back to the edit, you can also change the size uh, of the font and save that. And then if you notice, you are not seeing any changes happening and that's because uh, you have to create a snapshot. So if you click on the snapshot button right here at the bottom, it's going to generate a snapshot of how this is going to look once you render it. So that's a snapshot of what the scene looks like when you render it. So I'm going to go to the last scene, uh, which is supposed to display our logo. So I'll click on the image option and I have several options here to upload images. So I'm going to click on upload and choose a logo here that I have created earlier on. And that's going to show here as our logo in the video. All right, that's it. We're pretty much done. So the final step is just to choose the style, which is choose the style of uh, cartoon characters that you want. And then you can also change the color or uh, either use another preset or do custom colors. And then finally, you can set voiceover and music. So they have inbuilt music libraries right here. And you can also upload yours if you have music uh, from other places. So I'm just going to go to the upbeat option and select this one. So to add it, you just click on the plus sign right here and that adds that to the length of your scene. And then you can also add a voiceover. So there are two options for the voiceover. You could upload a recording and uh, you could do a text to speech and then you could also record directly. So if you have the text to speech, you just type in the text that you want to have in here and then that will put it up here. And if you want to record, you can also do this. So, but you record the voiceover for each scene. So I can, I'll record one for this scene, then go to the next scene, record the voiceover that way. So I'm going to go ahead real quick and record a voiceover for this, and then we'll be ready to export and share our video. So to record, simply just click on the record button and then hit record. And then you have to make sure you allow the microphone right here. And then you can click on start. So once you're done, simply repeat the same process for each scene which you want to have a voiceover and just make sure at the end to rename them and you can click on the little green button right here to add them to the scene. So once you're done with your voiceovers, you can preview the video right here. Uh, you can do a fast preview, you could export or export HD. So I'm just going to click on export. So once our export is done, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. But if you're enjoying this video in any way, do give it a thumbs up. It goes a long way in helping me grow this channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So once it's done exporting, you can take that video and share it anywhere like social media and even upload on places like YouTube without worrying about any kind of copyright issues. You've worked hard all year and deserve some well and relaxation. Let us plan your next vacation so you can get to doing the fun things that you love to do. Contact us yeah. today. And if you want to see more tutorials from me, those are going to be popping up right here. And if you're not yet subscribed, you are missing out. So do make sure you click on the subscribe button that's going to be popping up right here. Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Make sure you keep learning. Bye-bye.